So what I'm going to do today is some ballistic testing, or hopefully. So I have the Bisley range, all in 2-2. I have three pints of very firm gelatin. So I'm hoping if I shoot, it will actually get caught and not just blow the whole thing up. Um, it'll be at 15 yards, so I'm hoping it won't go out if it does, it does, because uh, otherwise I've got quite a narrow space to aim at. But anyway, it's all testing really, isn't it? So what I'll do, I'll do a quick little uh, zero in and sight in, because they are different weights, these pellets. Um, it shouldn't be too much over the 15 yards, yards but a couple through the, the HW80, and then uh, we'll see where they're aiming. And then we should try and get some ballistic... Uh, Results. Certainly, some of these, like the practice and the pest control, I expect them to uh, mushroom out completely. Not so sure on the others, but we shall see. That's the whole point of testing. So, I've mounted a fast mount, uh, 6 to 24 by 50 uh, Hawk scoped the FireArc HW18. So, I'll need to quickly zero, make sure I'm shooting where I should be. And then we can get to uh, hopefully blowing up, but not blowing up, this ballistic gel. Wish me luck.
So the Bisley Pest Control, two through one hole, and then one just a little bit low. Bisley Practice, two through one hole, and then I pulled one to the left. Magnum, three through one hole. The um, Long Range Gold, it's the only one that didn't really group. I mean, even the Premier, I pulled the second shot, and then now the third shot, and then the Superfield, uh, one went through there, or well, two there. So I know it's only 15 yards, but they're pretty accurate for a springer, off the knee as well. I'm sure if I had it on a, um, I do want to get some shooting sticks, I really do. And then it means I can sit down there and uh, even get out the PCPs as well, rather than having to lay on the floor of the bag or the bipod. But yeah, out of all of them, I mean, I still think that's pretty good, because I could do that, that, that was me. But it was only the long range gold, the ones that were a bit shit, and they was actually quite loose in the barrel. I don't know if that's uh, got something to do with it, but they all hit where I aimed them to do. That's what I'll do. Let's get the ballistics gel out and see if we can uh, get some results. Right, first up is going to be the Beastly Pest Control. See. I think it went all the way through. Alright, and then we've got the Beasley practice. All the way through. And then we've got the busy long range. Oh, really loose. So I can hit it. Thump. And then we've got the super fields. And that last one, I think they've all gone through. Oh, last one. Right. I think I need more jelly. See what it's like. Right, so the Bisley Pest Control. It's a fair old crater it's left behind. The uh, Bisley Praxis has left a massive hole, but completely not deformed. No, nothing. You can tell obviously the amount of damage that it's taken through with it from the, uh, the amount of air that it's taken. Uh, Bisley Magnum, I think that's carrying the most velocity. So that hasn't got a huge crater air pocket behind it. This is the long range gold. This one seems to have had the, the longest cavitation and oxygen or air pulled through it. 
Uh, what was this one? This was the uh, Premier. That was pretty good. Not a very big entry hole though. And the Superfield. The Superfield, I think, out of all of them, um, looks like it was probably going one of the fastest. And carried quite a lot of damage. Maybe it tumbled. But then when you look at the exit hole, it's tiny. So um, I don't think it did tumble as such. Can't find them. They all went and ended up hitting that somewhere. But yeah. That's some big old entry holes. Magnum's the smallest. I think that was travelling the fastest, but it's domed. Gold. Yeah, so I'm just fingering jelly now. But yeah, I'm well impressed with that. But all in all, that's part of the five inches of gel. So 15 yards isn't enough to stop it. But there you can tell the, uh, the old trails. Right, so I think I might be able to chop this up, remelt it, and maybe I'll try and shoot it that way, see that they actually all shot relatively consistent, apart from the one that was a little bit inconsistent anyway. But yeah, that's quite fun actually, the Bisleys. Right, so next time we'll take them down the range and I'll um, start putting them out a bit further and um, seeing what's what with the Bisley range, because uh, 6 dollars a tin, bit of a bargain really in this day and age.